It'd be fantastic on the full moon night with doing the uh, the full moon Reiki that we're going to do. And basically to really connect to the higher source, to feel it, to see it, to open up your third eye, to all of that stuff. I see it and I feel like you're being recognized. Okay. So use your intuition. Your intuition is stronger at this time is what I'm seeing with this high priestess because you're being like recognized. It's like promoting, right? So I feel like an energy shift is coming your way with this full moon because you also got the chariot. So that's moving forward, you know, moving forward, but with effort. And I feel like with that effort, it's basically connecting more. You, um, uh, tuning into your intuition, knowing what's right, what's wrong, how you feel, really getting in touch with, you know, your right brain and really what the divine and, and energies on the other side are sending your way, the signals and messages, the angel numbers, all of that stuff I feel like I'm getting for you is this is your time for that ascension. This is your time for a spiritual awakening is also what I'm getting, you know, moving forward. Um, this is time for healing and letting the divine heal you, um, or help you heal yourself, uh, basically. Um, so yeah, so this is beautiful. This is really exciting for you guys. So, um, definitely, you know, meditate. Um, I'm also getting journaling, right? So journal, um, in the, in the Facebook group, I have a exercise of automatic writing. So you might want to do that as well to see if you can channel through some spirit guide uh, messages for yourself. Um, but this is definitely connection and it's moving forward using your intuition. Um, you know, using your intuition and, and being recognized for it and then moving forward with whatever it is. Okay. So if it doesn't resonate with connection, it could resonate in, in a family dynamic and a relationship It's kind of using your intuition of what you know is right and wrong in the situation and kind of, um, rising above and, and moving on or moving forward with whichever way, you know, that your intuition is telling you to go. Okay. So that's the sign of Leo. Alrighty, let's see. All right, we're going to do Taurus next. Sign of Taurus for the full moon. Sign of Taurus for the full moon. Sign of Taurus. All right, so you start, oh. okay, yeah, so you start out with the Ten of Swords here, okay, so maybe stabbed in the back, something is coming to an end during this full moon time, I'm trying to get focus, all right, um, so something is coming to an end, something like that's put to bed, cannot come back to life, um, and then you've got the Nine of Wands as well, which is, you know, kind of sitting there protecting, um, being on the defense, waiting for somebody to come, um, but having your lion ready to go. So whatever has ended has left you in that energy of being very defensive, um, very on stance, um, you know, waiting for whatever to come your way. But we want to go with the full moon here. We want to go from the nine of wands down to the strength. You can see the difference, right? She's both, they both have the lion with her, but one is kind of sitting there on a defense and, and waiting for the worst to come. And the other is kind of peaceful and calm and knowing that she is going to, you know, have the strength to deal with whatever does come her way. So with the full moon, we want to release this type of energy of, of being protective and, and our guards up is what I'm getting, right? So we want to put our guards down and we want to start living a little bit more peacefulness, um, knowing that whatever comes our way, you know, we've dealt with it, you know, here in this situation, which stabbed us in the back, made us feel like shit, like all of that. We've been there. We've dealt with that. And if it does come again, you, we know that we'll get through it. We have the strength to get through it. It might not have been easy, but now we've learned and we're stronger. So now if this does come our way, we can deal with it. So instead of being on the defense all the time, deep breaths in, right? And take it down to a more peaceful calmness, knowing that trust in yourself that you're going to get through. Okay, so with this full moon energy, try to release the guards, 
that are up, the walls that you have built, and try to take them down and start to maybe trust others, uh, trust situations. Um, again, baby steps though, okay? It's not going to happen overnight, but this full moon energy can kind of make you aware that that's happening and then also um, help you get through. Okay, last but not least, Virgo. What message do we have for the sign of Virgo for the full moon? Sign of Virgo for the full moon. What message do we have? Let's go. Three cards, please. Sign of Virgo. All right, they're just going to make me say it. The energy that I'm getting here is to quit your shit. Okay. So, whatever that means, however that resonates, I want that card. Ah, mm hmm. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So, Tower, right? So, with this full moon, like, I'm feeling for you guys, you could really use this full moon to really whoosh, um, go forward because the cards you have here is like something's going to come crumbling down, okay? Or it already has. So the tower has either already come or it's about to come um, where things that have been built around lies is going to come, like the truth is going to come out is what I'm seeing. And then you've got the three of wands. After this happens, there's no way to go but forward. You've got to let go what happened in the past and let it go and not look back and just move forward. Okay. Um, then you've got the King of Pentacles. So when you do that and you just go forward, you're going to, like, I feel like you guys are going to start like a new life, um, a new journey um, to something better, to something more abundant, to something like I keep getting like, to all the garbage, like you're going to leave the garbage behind and you're really going to finally make the choice to, to move forward and to get the happiness and the healing that you truly want. And, um, but you've got to face this energy of whatever this energy is for you. You've got to face that first before you can move forward, before you can leave it all behind you. You've got to face it and then deal with it. And then you can move forward into this loving, um, abundant, you know, um, stable energy. Um, so, but unfortunately you've got to face this first and you can do that, right? You're strong enough to do that. Um, so, hmm. I'm just going to clarify that tower card for you. I want to know what that tower card is about. What's that tower card about? And clarify that for me, please. Okay, so Page of Swords. So something could have happened with somebody that is like maybe a little bit spiteful, a little bit... Um, it might have to be, deal with somebody that's not so nice. Okay, this could be your energy, it could be their energy, but it's maybe dealing with somebody that is kind of um, on edge, a little bit protective, a little bit guarded. Um and again, like I said, this could be your energy that you have to deal with and like that tower, you know, maybe it's causing a lot of issues in your life. Maybe it's somebody else that you're dealing with that's also causing issues in your life because they're guarded or they're insecure. Um, but when you, I am getting for a lot of you that it's going to be your energy though, right? Your insecurities are causing tower situations in your life. All right. But once you can get through that and once you can face that, that's when there's no looking back. That's when there's no looking back and that's when the King of Pentacles and the sun is going to come into your life, but not until then. Okay. So it's either your energy or somebody around you that you've got to remove from you because, um, until then you're going to be stuck at where you are. 
All right. I hope that resonates with you. Um, I think I did all of the signs. So good. Um, so please, if you comment below, um, I'll give you a chance to win a free membership. And then if you are also interested in the membership, the link is below. Uh, please sign up before Monday uh, because we're, our first session is Monday at 8.30 p.m. live. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for sharing and subscribing and commenting on all of these videos and the October readings will be coming out soon. Much love to you. Take this full moon energy, run with it. Again, write down anything that you want to release and burn it. That's a ritual. Make sure you put all your crystals out um, to bake underneath or bask underneath the full moon energy. Okay, much love to all of you and I will see you guys soon. Bye.